Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another uh, Life by the Fly. Today I'm going to show you one of my patterns that has been recently working for me. Um, what I call it is a running hairs. It is a mix between a hairs and a Frenchie. It does very well on stalkers. It does very well on uh, little wild rainbows and brooks. So... Um, as you can tell, I've got a jig hook in the vise with a 3.2 millimeter tungsten bead, little pink hot spot, which is magnum pink, um, uh, and uh, I have a hair's mask, and you can't really see it in this video, but there is a flash of green in the mix between the hair. I haven't finished brushing this one out, but I want to go ahead and knock this video out while my kid is gone for a few seconds so let's get started all right so what i'm getting ready to do is put a size 16 jig hook in the vise i use a wide gape on this but i don't use the whole hook so and i'm using some vivas uh i mean sorry i've been using vivas a lot lately some ultra thread 70 denier and i am going to go ahead and lay down my base layer and it's quick, simple, and easy. This is a real quick pattern. I should get this done in no time. I've already knocked out three while setting up the camera. So, uh, as you can tell, I do not use the whole hook. I start, go back to where the bend is. This does not have a tail, but if you're going to throw a tail on here, I recommend to throw a little bit of hair's mask on. Uh, just because it will give it a little more poofiness. What I'm going for is a more buggy look. As you can tell right now, I am starting to uh, taper out a body. And that to me is very important on this fly. Just because all bugs have a taper. And it, this fly is meant to get down and down quick. So... Right now, I'm using some Vivas Medium Holographic Tinsel and a mixture of green, but that's up to you. You can use any color that works for you. I've seen someone use a Magnum dubbing on this. This is my own pattern, but my friend used a Magnum dubbing on this and it worked out very well for him. Um, so what you're going to do is I like to tie it on my side. I, I catch it in, I slide it a little bit away from that bead, and I start working on my taper again, and I run it on back. And I keep making sure that it is stopping at my stopping point. I come back up, and so like I said, this is a quick pattern. It's something you can knock out. It is very effective, especially during hairs ears when hair's ears are very going for you all right so what i'm using is a natural hairs mask out of the natural fur pack um i just have a lot of dubbing you can use it off of what's left over off of your um your hair's ear i know that there's not a lot of hair's ears out there that have extra fur but I recommend not to go crazy on this. Uh, you don't need a lot of uh, dubbing. Uh, it's just not necessary. Uh, as you can tell, it starts off a little buggy. Uh, but I like to keep it kind of neat as I go up. And I get about to there and I go ahead and stop. I don't like it to go all the way to the bead. Uh, so I normally get about three wraps of this holographic tinsel. That's all you need. You don't need a crazy amount. And as you can tell, it doesn't really show up in the video. But when you tie it, you're going to see a, a significant amount of this. So I'm going to take a good old brush and I am going to brush this out to give it that buggy look. Like I said, you don't have to go crazy on this pattern, so just get it to where you like it. I like it to look kind of fuzzy. Um, I don't do a lot of brushing on mine. So, right there is good for me. Now, I'm getting ready to put some uh, Magnum Dubbing Hot Pink on. 
don't go crazy with your dubbing. I see a lot of people start off and go crazy. Uh, just nice and simple. Like start a little noodle. If you have to add more, it's better. It's you can't subtract uh, dubbing very well. So throw some dubbing on there. It's a little too much dubbing for me, but as you can tell, it still looks good on the pattern. Uh, and then just go ahead and whip finish. Uh, and then that is it. That is all. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and follow me on uh, Life on the Life or uh, Life on the River VA uh, or Life River VA. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I've been. I just started this Instagram page. It's called River Life VA. If you want to follow me, um, I post a lot of pictures of flies up there, uh, fish I've caught, people I've guided. So you have a good day, and uh, please keep following me. Um, I'm gonna post some more videos. I'm getting ready to start doing micro uh, intruders here soon because. The waters are getting high. It's a lot of rain coming in. So uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching.